we're going to rejoice. You know why? We're not going to rejoice over what happened. We're going to rejoice. The Lord still reigns over all. The Lord still reigns. And this week, we, we finished today, 21 days of prayer and fasting. I'll say a word more about that later. But we've had 21 days that we've been praying and fasting, asking God. We've been praying, God, put a lid on the violence here in Memphis. Folks, this city could have gone on fire, right? We pray, God, put a lid on the violence. Lord, we pray, let justice be done. Let justice come forth and justice be done. Personally, I prayed for Tyree Nichols, his family. I prayed for the wives and family of the officers that have been involved. I prayed for the souls of those officers. I thank God that this city did not erupt in violence from north to south and east to west. I thank Him for that. And I'm also praying that, that God, only God, who can take tragedy and turn it to triumph. I pray to God, I don't know how you're going to do it, but in your own sovereign, unique way, would you do that here in our midst? I've asked this morning, very appropriately, one of our deacons, Dale Lane, who's also the chief of police in Collierville. I've asked Dale to come and lead us in a word of prayer. Dale, we thank God for you, all of your officers in Collierville. I thank God for all of our members. Ugly, ugly things that some police officers have done. Dale, am I right? That's less than one half of one percent of police officers in America. It's less than that. Buddy. Less than less than one half of one. We've got across America. We've got some great police officers, and let us not focus on five when we have tens of thousands that serve and put their life on the line. So, God for this man. Amen. Give him a great big God bless you. Thank you.
The second greatest command is to love our neighbor as ourselves. Not the one that agrees with us, not the one that looks like us, talks like us, but love our neighbor, Lord. And I pray that as we walk out of this building today, that you would use each one of us, that everyone would see your love in all that we do, all that we say. Lord, I don't know how, but I know your word tells us that what the enemy means for evil, Lord, you can turn it for good. And we just pray that right now. Lord, I pray that there would be a, a move to you like no other that it comes out of this. And Lord, I just pray that you would strengthen bonds between the police and community across this nation. Lord, start with me. Let me be who you need me to be. And Father, we love you. Father, I pray and thank you for every home that's represented in here today. Lord, I pray your witches blessings over them. I pray that you would give them your supernatural favor everywhere that they go. That you would give them more influence so that they can be strong voices, Father, for love and for what's true and just and right. Now, Father, we love you today. We praise you, we honor you, and we glorify you. And we just ask that you would just walk with us every step of the way, everywhere we go. In Jesus' name, amen.